Welcome to the Science Lab. What you're looking at is dyed yeast. Here to tell me all about it, Sarah Hall, a Coordinator for Environmental Tech Program. How are you? I'm great. Welcome to our new Science Lab at our brand new campus. Oh my gosh, I've been walking down the halls of this campus just trying to take it all in. Not only do you have incredible technology here, but the view yeah, it's really out amazing. onto the river is so nice. We're super lucky. Yeah. So what uh, what happens in the science lab? What's some of the new equipment that you've got? Right, so the lab is uh, basically designed uh, to meet the needs of our environmental tech program. Okay. Lots of new equipment. We're really excited about it. We didn't even have a lab at our old campus. Mm -hmm. um, so we've got fume hoods. Uh, we have fridges, we have centrifuges. We're basically able to do a whole bunch of different experiments in here. Okay. And it's for both biology and for chemistry. So, uh, what can students who graduate with an environmental tech, uh, would it be degree, diploma? Yeah, diploma. Program. Diploma. What can they do with that? Right. So, the whole idea of that program, um, we've designed it so that it meets the needs of industry and government. Mm -hmm. They're basically learning the basics about contaminated sites, contaminated site remediation, and doing environmental assessments. Okay. Yeah. So you've set up a, a little bit of a Yeah, we've got a, a challenge for me. going here. Okay, yeah. so what will I have to do, Sarah? So um, this is an experiment that we ran uh, last week in the lab. Mm -hmm. um, students are basically uh, working with living organisms in here. Mm -hmm. This lab actually is a level two safety lab and we're actually allowed to work with live stuff in here. So okay. today what they're doing is they actually have um, a yeast sample, really simple staining procedure. Mm -hmm. uh, they're gonna stain the yeast. Yeast that is living will actually generate carbon dioxide and it'll look clear uh, under the microscope and also up on the screen. Okay, so do I need to grab a slide? Oh, perfect, you can. thank the you. The will show you through the process. And then I take uh, the, bot, the the jar of yeast. That's and right, you want to put your one. safety glasses on. Oh, safety glasses on, <laughs> probably better than on my That's head. That's good. Okay, and then one drop. That's right. Okay. And then you'll be adding a little bit of uh, dye there. The blue dye, okay. Put that on. Just one. That's good. Okay, and then I need to squish it with a little clear top, right? You do, yeah. And then I'll bring it over here and put it into the microscope. That's and right. then what I'm seeing here in the microscope is what you've got up on the screen That's right, here. it's an exact, yeah, exactly. Okay, so now what is the, the purpose of, of doing this? <laughs> right, so students, one of the important things that we have in this program, um, a lot of focus on field activities, but also focus on lab activities. So we're trying to give them a good balance. Mm -hmm. And so understanding how microbes work is one of the key things for uh, understanding how contaminated sites can be remediated. Very neat. OK, yeah. if you head to the Algonquin website, you can look at all of the uh, program information. But sometimes you get, even though you've got the brand new lab, sometimes you get to get out of the lab and go into the field. We do, and we have a really good applied research program here, too. Our students can take on additional projects and work in the community and are, are able to contribute uh, to our local, uh, our, our local folks here. Very neat. And we haven't even tackled the culinary aspect of it. Stay with us. That's coming up later on CTV Morning Live here from Pembroke.